The past seven months, she's been the interim chief, but last night that word interim was removed from the title. Vanessa Wilson is now the first female to lead the Aurora Police Department. And the question now is, can she bring about significant change to a department that's been marked with troubles for years? Denver 7 Sloan Dickey joins us live. He's outside APD headquarters, and we spoke with Chief Wilson today, Sloan. Yeah, in a 10 to 1 vote, Vanessa Wilson was confirmed as the next police chief. As you said, she's already been in that role for seven months as the interim police chief. And council members I spoke to who voted on her confirmation said they have confidence she can fill that role. However, we've all seen there has been conflict here in Aurora over those, those past seven months. And community leaders I spoke with said they want to see significant changes in the department before they can fully back her. The motion is approved. On Monday night, Aurora's interim police chief, Vanessa Wilson, was confirmed to take the department's top spot. She is not afraid to make the tough decisions. Overwhelming support from Aurora City Council with just one no vote. That kind of tough approach is really necessary at this point in time. Vanessa Wilson stepped into the interim role in January, a turbulent time for the community and department. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman defended her leadership. You know, there's a lot of public image improvement to be done with the department. She's been in this department for decades. Are you sure that she's the right choice over somebody that might be new blood in the department? Well, the fact is uh, she's been uh, heavily involved in the community, uh, knows the community, uh, knows the department. For black community leaders like Omar Montgomery. So on one end, congratulations. The appointment alone is not enough to end systematic racism in the department. It comes with some heartache because I had to also look at a video of a six-year-old land on hot concrete um, on a hot summer day because there was a mistake in regards of a car being stolen. Just hours before Wilson's confirmation, Aurora police embroiled in another scandal. <laughs> Officers mistakenly apprehending a black family, forcing them, including a six-year-old girl, to lie face down on the concrete. I don't think common sense policing was used in that particular scenario. I don't think common sense policing was used when it came to Elijah McClain. So we need to see changes in the decision making at moments like that. The mayor says there's a lot of work to be done. It's really going to take a uh, tremendous effort and a lot of work uh, to move the department forward. And I, th I think she can do that. Now, every council member I spoke with here said APD is in need of changes. One council member, David Gruber, messaged me in part saying, I expect her to use her new authority to create policy and police reforms to protect all Aurora residents. Whether she is able to implement those changes, we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live in Aurora, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.